fresh out of prison. He's a violent offender moving right into your neighborhood. But now there's this law that says you got to be notified. Flyers go out, let you Wait know that second. he's coming. Wait a second, whoa, whoa, I don't think it's fair. Why not? They're never going to get a break being branded that way. I mean, they did their time. My Please. parents would kill me if they knew I was doing this. Look, you told your mom we'd be out of the movie by 9.30. It's only 9. I also told her I'd wait in the lobby. This is awesome. Okay. Act old. Come on. You mean it's okay for an ex-con to move in right next door? Dave, what do you have to say about that, buddy? I want to know if they're moving in, because I want to plan a little housewarming. I know just what kind of party you want to throw. Hey, they're animals. They deserve it. I'm going back. Come on, Kathy. It's not like I'm going to do anything. I'm just going to look. I, I really need to go. Well, you'll have to go home. guy was talking about whoa time locked up in the big house what'd you do doesn't matter what i did what counts is what happened when i got out flyers went up and then let me guess you get a nasty unwelcome from your friends and neighbors i couldn't get a job they went nuts well come on what about us don't we deserve to feel safe from people like you You were supposed to be waiting in the lobby. I, I was just a block away. That was not our agreement. If you want me Mom. to trust a young lady, you have Mom. to stick to the agreement. Mom! I never would have let you come if I, I, I know! I just... Uh, it, it was stupid, okay? Okay. Well, Sarah and Tiffany... They're okay. Their moms are going to pick them up later. That's going to be mad, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Let's go, everybody! Kathy! In a minute! Now! You're lucky you get to go anywhere ever again after what you pulled last night. I said I was sorry. Jeez. Daniel, we're leaving without you! Hey, Jack! Last one there! Bye! Bye's ice cream, I know! better put it on my tab. What is he going for? JJ, in! Daniel, come join the rest of the Daddy, flock. Daddy, do you mean Footsie? Don't I always? Who's Footsie? My snake! Remember? Oh, yeah. He's a little confused about biology. Well, aren't we all? You don't like Footsie. Yes, you do. I love Footsie. Not this time, pal! <laughs> okay, climb aboard. JJ! Dad, see if you can steal the ball away from me. Well, I guess. That's the only way I'm going to get you into the car. Come on. Then? Okay. Come on. Okay. Uh, well, leave it. Kathy. Leave. Can I have my ball? Come and get it. Howdy, neighbor. I've seen you looking at my daughter one too many times, Farley. Looking illegal, is it, Jack? You stay away from my children, you understand? Sure, sure, sure. Just as long as they keep their playthings out of my yard. I hate asking for free advice, but you run the security business. I sweat. My kids play here, too. You haven't been having any trouble, have you? Oh, nothing big so far. A few pieces of equipment stolen from the basement. You can never be too careful. Spoken like a cop. Former cop. 
I'll tell you what. I think you've worked miracles in the little time you've been the rec director here. It's been a struggle with all the cutbacks. Call us when lunch is ready. Yes, sir. Anyway, I was so worried I wanted to ground her until she was 20. Yeah, I can remember doing stuff like that when I was Kathy's age. Oh, I know. It's typical teenage stuff, but still, it scared me. I hope seeing what we're putting up with isn't keeping you from wanting kids. <laughs> no. In fact, Scott and I have been talking about it. I mean, we've been married for almost a year, and I get my master's after one more semester. Daddy won't let me play. He keeps on missing it. He's trying to practice. Why don't you go play on the swings, and I'll be over in just a minute to push you. I never get to do the big kid stuff. Just get out of here. You get out of here, both of you. I hate you both. OK. Yeah, have some juice. You know, if you want to practice with kids, um, you could work with mine. Take them, please. <laughs> Anytime. I'll pay big. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Mm, great. This is my last one. Will you hold that, please? Ah, uh, yeah. Karen's going to help me deliver them tomorrow. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty. What? Hmm. I was just thinking what a beautiful bride you'll make someday. Mom, you know I don't have time for boys. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, your father will be very happy about that. <laughs> Good night, Mom. <laughs> Psyche. Hers and ours. It scares me how fast she's growing up. Oh, no. As much as you'd like to, that's the one thing you can't control. Hey, no chance. It's spaghetti day. It can't be spaghetti can't day be every day. You are not wearing that to class. Mom, tell him. No, I am telling you, you are not wearing your soccer uniform to school, especially I'm... not like that. Now go upstairs. I'm not a little kid anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Now watch me and take off that makeup, all of us. Sarah wears makeup and she's and a year younger Sarah, than me. You are and you are not wearing oh, makeup to get out school. Of this house. Now, I can't wear it. Ding, 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 ding. Round two. Uh, this Boys, this when did the time. police force didn't want you anymore? You know what? I quit the police force so that I could start a business and buy this house and pay for those clothes. Why are you answering her? And you're not helping matters, young lady. Mom, everyone's wearing the uniform to school today, and we're going to win the division championship. Uh -huh. And you want to show off. Yeah? Sounds good to me. I'll take off all the makeup. Deal? All right, then... Tuck in that shirt. Just a minute, young lady. Whoa! Way cool! 
great rewarder for starting a fight. Oh, ease up, Jack. They're for me and your father for the game. They're awesome. Thank you, Mom. I don't think you're going to get away with this again. Hey, and remember I'm picking you up here, 3.30. She's impossible. Well, of course she is. She's 13. It's required. Oh, great. I really appreciate you delivering these for me. Oh, glad to do it. The extra cash really helps. With school expenses, it's a little tight. Well, I've got another wedding next week and a bar mitzvah, so save some time for me. I'm all yours. Oh, gosh. I've got to get the boys and take Kathy to her soccer game. <laughs> Wish her luck for me. Oh, I will. Thanks. I can't believe any more stars said he liked your shorts. I know. I was totally dying. <laughs> I'm amazed your dad let you wear them. Mom did. My dad had a conniption. He doesn't understand me at all. <laughs> I don't want to live in the same state as him. Okay, well, I gotta go, so I'll see you at the game. Okay, cool. See ya. Bye! and doesn't tell me. JJ, turn that thing off, please. in security. Liz? Oh, hi. It's Jack in? Uh, no, uh, Jack's out. Uh, do you know where uh, he went? I don't know where he went. Do you want me to take a message? I can't find Kathy. Please have Jack call as soon as he gets in. Right. Thanks. All right, boys, 
You stay here and answer the floor if anyone calls. Karen! Have you seen Kathy? What? Have you seen Kathy? No, what's wrong? I can't find her. Would you help me? Of course. Thank you. Check with the neighbors, see if anyone's seen her. Have you seen Kathy? No. Would you call us if you do? I will. Nicholas, have you seen Kathy Porterson? Uh -uh. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Farley! Farley! Dara, hi. Listen, have you seen Kathy? Well, do you have any idea... No, no, she never showed up at the soccer game. She's not there? Okay, if you see her, can you ask yeah, her to call home right away? Elizabeth! Yes? Hank called. You said the cat is... I can't find her. I came to pick her up and she wasn't home. And she never showed up at the soccer game. Whoa, 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 She's whoa calm down. What time were you supposed to pick her up from here? 3.30. Did you call her friends? Yes, everyone she knows, the whole class, everybody. And what about the neighbors? Uh, we've knocked on every door for blocks around, Jack. Are there any signs of a break-in? No. I checked every door and every window. Do you think she came home after school? Well, her bike's here. She's been here. Hey, that's your message. What can I do? I want to check around the house and then through some of the, the hangouts downtown. It's all my fault. I never should have had that fight with her this morning. Elizabeth, it's going to be okay. There's no reason to panic. Street, you? No, not yet. Maybe we should check the soccer field. There's woods off the All edge. Right, let's and... go. Kathy! 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 Did you find her? No. Well, you, you should you should check the the soccer field. We checked the soccer field, the movies, and every fast food place within five miles. She's not hanging out somewhere. Maybe she. I know. She she, she has a girlfriend. We don't know. It's somebody now, she Elizabeth, met at a honey, party. Elizabeth, honey, it doesn't work like that. What do you mean it doesn't work like that? She's being a snotty teenager. She's hiding somewhere to to upset you, and it could be Denny, that boy she likes. Elizabeth, home please Jack. listen to me. If a teenager runs away, no signs of forced entry, nothing out of place. Then for the first three to six hours, the odds are pretty strong that the kid did something stupid. But it's 9.30. She stayed out one night until one o'clock in the morning, Jack. And that stunt she pulled wandering away was just the other night. It has night. been six hours. We have done everything within the neighborhood. We need to call the police. I know she's all right, I'm sure. Yes, 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 of course she is. So let's get some help and find her while she still is. Nine one one, your name, please. Yeah, this is Jack Porterson. Do you have an emergency? Yes, it is an emergency. I'm sending someone over. my daughter oh what's wrong man you, you can't keep track of your own kids <laughs> Jack? what did you do with my gun nothing what what did you do with what are you talking about i didn't do nothing please. i keep it going i keep it crazy drew a gun right there and he comes running across the lawn 
Davis? Jack Tortison. You helped me, family. It's my daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Grace Maynard. We'll do everything we can. Jack used to be on the job. We did a couple of cases together over in Langdon. Oh, yeah, right. Check this guy Farley out next door. He's very weird. He's always lurking around Kathy. Okay. There's been no sign of a break-in. We're in violence. Nothing in the room's been disturbed. We need to contact contiguous locals, Vicap. Jack. If the crime scene is clean, which it is, Jack, the CSU Jack, guys are going to Let need... me get the information I need, and I want to see you taking care of your family. I've got a lot of ideas. Yeah, I know you do. Are the uniforms up to speed? Oh, yeah, they're on it, Jack. We'll need some pictures. Check this guy Farley out, okay? Okay. We'll find her. We'll start at the beginning. When was she last seen? Comic books. I'm a collector. You collect videotapes as well? That's right. So what? You've been drinking, haven't you, Mr. Farley? I've had a few cocktails, yeah. Alone? With friends. And these friends of yours, they have names and phone numbers? Maybe. Listen, what's all this about anyway? You don't mind if I take a look around, do you? One where she looks pretty. Her hair's a mess in this one. She, she'll be so upset if I use a bad picture. The most recent one. Isn't she? Of course. She always feeds my snake. You should go back to bed. I like that one. Daniel. No, not till she comes home. Jack Portison tells me you and he had words about his daughter. Words. Says you look at her funny. I like jerking his chain, okay? I mean, he is uptight. And you take it out on the kid. I teased her, all right? Just to freak out her old man. But, like, I would never do anything, you know, crazy. No, Mr. Farley, I don't know. We keep an eye on him. Did you search Farley's? There's no sign of her we're checking his alibi. Well, how hard did you push him? Oh, Jack, we're on it, okay? Now we need that photograph. We'll set up a phone bank, information center. Use the rec center. We've got everything you need. Thanks. Elizabeth, there is something you can do. This is my daughter, Kathy Ann Porterson. She's been missing since yesterday. If any of you have seen her or you know where she is, please contact the Brylin Police Department. And Kathy, if you can hear me, honey, I love you. And we're not mad. We just want you home. And if you can't get back home, if, if something's keeping you away, don't worry, we'll find you. We love you. And we'll never stop looking for you. The task force is already out over around the First Street area. Okay, and where do you think you heard her? Scott, three neighbors saw a girl. Don't know the hair color, and a couple psychics are offering services for feet. Now, we've got 2,000 flyers ready to go. Volunteers are waiting in the driveway, groups of six. We'll put the flyers on trees and telephone poles. Thanks, I... We really appreciate everything you're doing. No problem. Okay, people, remember, take every message down, no matter how crazy, all right? We're tracking everything. There's food in the kitchen. Help yourselves. And um, I'd like to say thank you. You don't know how much this means. Thank you. You finished testing the windows and doors downstairs? Yeah. Anything? Not yet. Oh, no, you can't come in here. Oh, for God's sake. We're gonna have to print the family for comparison. Yeah, sure, that's fine. But the odds of finding her alive go down by half every 24 hours. Now, Jack, nothing magic's gonna happen at 3.30. You know the odds go down by the second, by the minute. 
Uh, no. I need to get something in Kathy's room. Well, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. This is my house. It's my crime scene. say anything at all that can help us. A fight with anybody, a crush, maybe a teacher, anything like that? Hey. She's your girlfriend. Now, I don't care if we have to hurt somebody's feelings. We gotta know everything. What? She... She had, like, a huge fight with him yesterday. With who? Her father. Jack Portison is okay. Ah, come on, Davis. He quit the force. <laughs> he wanted to give his family more. Who made that a crime? But he's got a real problem with his temper. Where'd you hear that? Besides having a major blowout with this kid the day she disappeared, the uniforms had to peel dear old dad off his next door neighbor last night. I like him. You're looking at me? Hard to miss you. You weren't in the office when she disappeared. I, I was picking up some security monitors at a warehouse down on Adams. Anybody see it? I have no idea. The foreman, ask around. True, you had a fight with your daughter that morning. That kind of thing happened a lot between you two. She is 13. You had an excessive force complaint filed against you while you were on the job. I was vindicated. Look, you are supposed to be finding out what happened to my daughter! That's exactly what I'm doing. You really think I had something to do with this? I think we're gonna find out. Did Jack have a lot of problems with Kathy? Oh, just the usual... Why are you asking me that? Jack is a wonderful father. But he wasn't in his office at the time of the disappearance. You tried to call him, right? That's what you told us. Look, I know this is difficult, but we have to ask. Uh, why are you asking me about Jack when that creep Farley's walking around free as a bird? We talked to Farley, and his boss at work confirmed his whereabouts. He's clean. <sighs> They question me. They think... I know. You don't, right? You don't think... Oh, Jack. We'll find her. Here's a signature on the way bill signed by Beaumont. There's Jack's signature. There's the time punch of the trucker. 3.28 p.m. All right. I appreciate your help on this. Right. Of course, Jack probably gave you the same info about the warehouse, so I assume you want something else. Yeah, there is one other thing. Has Jack ever mentioned any problems at home? <laughs> Look, Jack Porterson lives for his family. If you think he had anything to do with all this, you're way, way off base. Start with this sector here, and work our way all the way around over okay. to the left. See it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yes, yeah. sir. There are teams of volunteers in the ravine that leads to the state park, but it's rugged terrain. It takes time. We went all through Cartwell, over to Talbert Street, and down from East Lake. So far, nothing. Okay. Let's focus on the northeast section. There are eight zones left. Scott, you and I should take zone five. But that's not the direction she would have gone if she was trying to make it to the game. We should look anyway. Yeah. Uh, there's something else. Uh, some kids here at the rec center told me a lot of teenagers go to this downtown area. Kind of a haven for runaways. 
Scott and I can check the shelters. Jack and I will go downtown. She'd never do it. She'd never come down here alone. She said she had to get out of the house. What? That morning when he yelled at her. She said she had to get out. This place is awful. Have you seen this girl? Have any of you seen this girl? Have you seen her? No, oh, man. Can you help me out? Uh, no, Anybody? Uh oh. Have you seen her? You see anybody who looks like that down here? Well, she'd be clean. She just left home. Check the streets. She would be strawberry. What? What? She is not. She is not shooting up. She is a little girl. Oh, okay, all right. Jack, Jack, Jack. Spread the word. Anybody? No. Could you just take it? Maybe someone knows her. Kathy? Kathy? Kathy, oh, thank God. Kathy. Oh my god, Kathy! What are you doing? <sighs> Clothing, you'd think something would show up. What are you looking for? No. Then stop. Jack, it's been two weeks. What's the next step? I, I don't know. We've done everything by the book. We keep looking. We keep hoping. That's it? Yeah, that is it. I don't know anything else. We have two sons to take care of. We need to stay strong. Yeah, right. Strong. I'm so proud of you, Scott. You've been such a good friend to Jack during this whole thing. Uh, well, what else could I do, huh? I don't know how they're making it through this, you know? I mean, I don't think I could survive. Okay. How you doing? Look, it's been a rough day. I'm just... I'm really worn out, okay? Oh, yeah? Are you too worn out? Karen, after everything we've been going through, I don't see how you can even... Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's just... This really has me rattled, you know? 
I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Mom, I'm telling you, don't need to tuck me in. Well, you're not too old for a kiss. How about you? What's wrong? I said something to Kathy to make her leave. No, 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 you didn't. She made me mad that day we were at the rec center. I told her I hated her. Danielle, everybody in this family said something to Kathy that they wish they hadn't. Me too. And she didn't run away because of me? No. No, JJ? No. Mm -mm. Did she run away at all? She's coming home. We're sure about that, right? Mike. Kathy didn't run away. What if somebody really got her? I know. I'm freaking out just thinking about it. I can't believe it happened to someone we know. This stuff only happens on the news. I know what you mean. I just hope she's okay. Hey, Mrs. Elliot. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Good, good. Thank, Thank you. Liz? Fine. Sure. I just wish I could do something to help you. There's Mrs. George here to see you. I saw in the news about your daughter. I thought this might be something I don't know. Anything you can tell us, please go ahead. I live on a street just around the corner from you, mm -hmm. and I saw this landscaping truck on the block the day your daughter disappeared. Now, I know every garden on this street, and every gardener. I'd never seen him before. And the way he was looking around, sort of nervous-like, it just struck me as odd, you know? Was he tall? Short, thin, fat. I guess if I saw him again, I'd recognize him, but he was really very average. But it bothered me because the next day, I was on my way to the supermarket and I saw that truck again. Only this time, it was up at Old Creek. Just sitting there, parked on the side of the road. Strange again. Did you get a license plate number? Anything you remember at all? The, the truck was beige or gray. B beige. Beige or gray truck, no plates, no identifying marks. That'll lead us a prayer. It's more than you had on me. That's true. Four guys at the warehouse confirmed you were there, but we had to check. You know we did. What else do you have? Not much. Look, folks, it's been a month. I'm getting pressure from the lieutenant. We will do what we can. But what? Well, we're going to keep investigating at full steam, but we're going to have to cut back on the search. You can't give up. You can't give up. We've had no ransom call. We have found nothing. Jack. Other people are not getting the protection they deserve because everyone's been out working the search. You're giving up because you think she's dead. Don't ever say that. Why, because if I say the word, it'll kill her? Because I'm not stopping. We have searched the entire county. The odds of finding her are almost non-existent. Almost isn't good enough, Jack. That little speck of hope never goes down to zero, no matter how many times it divides in half. And I am never, ever giving up. I don't know what else to do. Whatever it takes. That's what we'll do. Whatever it takes. This is probably nuts, but I'm desperate. Besides, she was in the psychic and seemed real. She didn't ask for money. Bargain it twice the price. Um, okay. That's probably her. 
Excuse me. I'm my I'm, I'm Elizabeth. No. Karen. Hey. Hi. I brought the earrings you asked for. Oh, good. Oh, she's sweet, your daughter. Very close to Daniel. Boyfriend? My youngest son? Yep, that's him. You girls want a tea? Sure. She does something with Daniel every day. A pet. How did you know? Thank you. Could we have two more, please? Images just pop into my head. Have since I was a child. Where is my daughter? Could you help me find her? I can try, but... It's odd. What? I just got a sense of a strong odor. What kind of odor? Like rotten eggs. What does that mean? I don't know, really. Decaying plants, perhaps? A swamp, maybe? God, I hope she's not here. She's not here, Jack. We're just being thorough. Oh, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Jack! Elizabeth! What is it? Don't know. There's something down there. Here. I believe I brought everybody out here because it was psychic. One night. Yeah, I think we could all use some rest. Pushed past me and ran out the door. I watched to make sure he drove away. What kind of vehicle? A beat up old pickup truck. But it was this funny color of beige, like someone had just taken some house paint and slapped it on. It's funny the things you remember, huh? And you sure it was a beige truck? Yep. He doesn't seem to be in here. Wait a minute. That's him. Yep, that's him. Saw him on the block the day that little girl disappeared. We got him. This is the police! police. Bobby Lewis, where is he? No idea. Mind if I take a look? You won't find him. You his mother? That's right. What's going on here? Well, we need to talk to Bobby. Do you know where he is? I already told you I don't know. Bobby, buy you that TV? My son works.